without the people, who creates the state? Is it one man? Well, you have a group of incarcerated individuals, and we're talking about policies and the different things that are affecting our communities. So here we are, detaining individuals, but we're having this type of conversation, a structured conversation, you know, a focused conversation. The language that we use to talk about race, to talk about ethnicity, to talk about nationalism, matters. So you have the Serbian Republic, you have the Kosovo Republic. The students are extremely dedicated and very enthusiastic and they, they really cherish their time in the classroom. They, they come prepared, they take a lot of notes. People come uh, having underlined the text. It's like very conscientious students. Many generations, Joel is very, he takes it very much to heart. Ethnically, there is no distinction between the two groups. Right. However, when you look at the theory that governs one, and that he wants to be here, he wants to continue talking about the topics. In the end, he'll stick around and he'll ask more questions. Benio is an excellent professor. I'm not just saying it because he's here. <laughs> we learn new things about DC that we didn't even know, you know. Great ethnic diversity in the United States. Uh, and in fact, some people have kind of speculated that this kind of ethnic diversity would lead to the disintegration of the United States. Let's go to the next slide. Sorry. Everything that happens in the nation, it formulates from here first. So that gives me energy when it, it relates to policy making and trying to do something different outside of it when I do transition from this space. Please join me in welcoming to the Southeast Campus of Georgetown University, Jason Flom. There's so many people who I've worked with that helped to get out of prison that have gone on to become very successful in their chosen fields. You know, you have all my respect for having to deal with the situation that you're in and then turning it into this positivity. It's changing the mindset. You know, it's changing the mentality of the guys, you know what I'm saying? And they have something to look forward to, and it, it gives them hope. You know, so when you have individuals who have hope, um, they, they, they think it different, you know, and they begin to act different. The energy that we go back to our units with um, helps to create a conducive environment for the guys who don't, may not have the opportunity. I'm not sure how much awareness there is in society about what this population or what these students, what these individuals are capable of. They're capable of a lot.